Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Alinga Sise of Haba and Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so grateful. And uh, today I want us to look at cannibalism in poultry farming. I've received quite a number of comments in my comment section uh, about this cannibalism and I've really tried to answer them, but uh, I feel like we should elaborate more on it because it seems like so many of you beginners out there are really suffering from this cannibalism. And um, it is an act by which birds eat up each other. And if it is not well managed, it, you can end up even closing the farm because it can become so rampant in a way that you can end up losing birds each and every day, which is really not good for the business. So today let's talk about cannibalism. We are going to look at the causes of cannibalism and how you can prevent your farm from being affected by cannibalism. So stay tuned till the end. But uh, for those who are still new, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video, comment in the comment section down below and I'll be so grateful. See you right back. So, as I told you earlier on today, I want us to look at cannibalism in poultry farming and some of the causes of cannibalism and how we can prevent our farms from being affected by this cannibalism. But I want you to know that most of the causes of cannibalism is uh, majorly by us, the farmers, and it is only us that can protect these birds from developing this habit of cannibalism. So the number one cause of cannibalism is the food and water shortage in our farms. You find that most of us farmers, uh, we tend to give these birds limited amount of feeds and the birds will end up not being full. You can enter a farm and you find the, bird, the farm do not have drinking water. The drinking water got done a long time ago and it is not added for the birds. The feeds are not even given in the right, in the right amount. So these birds will will we'll start pecking on each other and immediately they start pecking on on each another bird and they see blood they will end up even killing that but all the rest will gang on that one and that one will die and that is how this habit of cannibalism starts developing in our poultry farms so i want to tell you that for us to prevent this cannibalism please let us try as much as possible to give this bird enough feeds in the right amount i've calculated for you how many how, how, how many kilograms you're supposed to give these birds and uh, i i am very sure all of us now we know how to calculate the feed intake of this bird so let us try to follow that feed intake and we see and we give these birds enough feeds in that way we shall prevent them from developing this habit of cannibalism another cause of cannibalism is the imbalanced diet you find that um most of us when we are mixing our feeds we do not put all the nutrients that is needed in that in the feeds especially those ones who always order for the feeds that are mixed from different stores i've told you that whenever you're going to order for for feeds from another store whereby you're not the one going to mix it make sure you're either present there or you're very sure of all the ingredients mixing that feed because some of these stores they are also doing business they will end up not mixing for you all the all the nutrients all the ingredients needed in that feed and uh, you find that birds will instead consume feeds which are high in energy and low in fiber so they will end up starting pecking the feathers of others and whenever they start that it can develop into cannibalism so please as a farmer always be so vigilant of the feeds that your birds are taking another cause of cannibalism in poultry farming is overcrowding uh, you find that uh, most farmers they tend to put uh, very many birds in one poultry house uh, sometimes it's because of limited space but i would like to tell you that please if the space is little please try to put the right number of birds in that in that poultry house because uh, we know that um in one square meter like for the layers or one square meter should contain only four birds so please let us try as much as possible to make sure that a one square meter of a layer house 
has four, but let us not go beyond that. You find that most farmers, they always go beyond that. And if these birds are overcrowded in one particular place, it, they can... Um, it can lead to this cannibalism because they will start pecking on each other. The house is so squeezed for them. You know, in that way, we shall they will develop cannibalism. So let us try as much as possible to prevent these birds from getting, from developing this habit of cannibalism by making sure that they, they are not overcrowded in one particular poultry house. Another cause of uh, cannibalism is excessive heat. This is... Uh, especially comes whereby the house is so much overcrowded and the temperature will be so high for the birds and the birds will get too annoyed because the place is too hot and they will just start pecking on. They, be, they start developing this aggression of pecking each other and at the end of the day, cannibalism will develop in our poultry farm. So as farmers, please, let us try as much as possible to work on the hydration of our houses and to make sure that the birds are not overcrowded in one particular poultry house in that way we shall prevent this cannibalism from happening in our farms another cause of cannibalism is bright light in our poultry farms uh, you find that uh, all the poultry farms are supposed to have a source of light even me here i switch off my lights at least in the night like at 9 p.m uh, but you find that if the lights are very bright there's a way it will cause the chicken to become irritable and leading to hostility and that can lead to a, ca a cannibalistic behavior even in the brooder when you're brooding your birds make sure you use this these yellow bulbs in that uh, the the, it, the house is not too too bright for that for those baby chicks so normally try to avoid these very bright lights in our poultry farms in that way we shall be able to prevent cannibalism in our poultry farms another cause of poor cannibalism is the parasites and illness you see when these uh, farms are invaded by these parasites like the mites like the fleas you find that uh, these birds they will start pecking on their feathers because they are this these parasites are there they will start pecking on their feathers and at the end you find that uh, they will start bleeding and that will bring about cannibalism even birds which are sick you find that these healthy birds will start pecking on the sick ones because the sick ones are looking so weak so down and they'll start pecking on the sick bird and that is how cannibalism will develop in our poultry farms so let us try as much as possible to try to prevent this uh control this these parasites from invading our farms and birds which are sick let us always try as much as possible to put them aside and quarantine them in another place so that we can prevent this cannibalism from happening in our poultry farms another cause of cannibalism in our poultry farm is the abrupt changes in the environment and management practice so uh in most cases cannibalism will develop when birds are experiencing abrupt changes if you if you want to to move your birds like let's say from one place to another please Try as much as possible maybe to, to transfer them with their feeders and their drinkers. In that way, they will adapt to the new to the new environment so quickly. Because if not that, they will start becoming so aggressive. They will start becoming so hostile. In that way, they will start pecking each other. So let us try as much as possible to... to to, to avoid this cannibalism in our poultry farms even about changing workers all the time the management you know these birds also are so sensitive someone who has been with them from day one they know that person actually they tell us that they even sense blood so if you want to change workers too much changing of workers here and there can make this bird so stressed at the end they will become so hostile and to, they will start pecking on each other and to lead to cannibalism so please let us try as much as possible to check on that to avoid this cannibalism from happening in our poultry farms another cause of cannibalism in our poultry farm is the introducing of new birds to the flock uh this normally happens especially in these broilers and layers let's assume like now right now we have the layers in the farm and you bring in uh, new birds in, the, in that same farm. There's a way they will become so aggressive on that new bird. Even when you introduce another color of bird in that farm, 
honestly the bugs will become so wild they will become so hostile they'll they'll pick on this one and they'll end up even killing it immediately and once they start developing that habit you find that it will spread in the whole farm they'll start becoming hostile and eating each other like that so let us try to avoid bringing in new flock if this birds now like this one which we have let us try to you know you you have a particular flock go with that one until you sell them off even with the local birds if you want to avoid this cannibalism from happening among the local among the local flock try as much as possible to to separate even the adults from the chicks because you find that these adults end up pecking on these chicks even they will not allow these chicks to eat and once they and once they start on that and the blood starts coming out of that baby chick you find that that is how they will kill up they will gang up and kill that chick baby chick and that is how cannibalism will develop in our poultry farms so let us try as much as possible to take note of that even birds of different colors now like with the layers and broilers you cannot bring a broiler bird inside the layer farm it is not possible you cannot bring a layer bird inside the broiler farm it is not possible you will find that immediately the birds will become so aggressive and so hostile and that is how cannibalism will develop in your poultry farm so uh i've really talked about the causes and the preventive ways if you've been so attentive but another way that uh, you can also prevent this cannibalism from happening in our poultry farms is by debaking the birds you know i've had people people have, have had some of you send me messages that even their birds have been debaked but they're still eating each other so i am sure that uh, among all the causes someone out there is falling in at least one or two of them so please let us try as much as possible to check on these causes and we see where we we fall and then uh the best way of uh, preventing this cannibalism from happening in our poultry farms is by identifying what is causing this cannibalism if you see it is overcrowding try as much as possible to make sure that the the birds are not overcrowded if you see it is excess heat try as much as possible to make sure that the aeration is good and the birds are not have if you see that it is the imbalanced diet please let's try as much as possible to prevent it because once you address the cause what is causing it so and if you see one happen like this please don't be relaxed try to act immediately and that is why we do the baking especially among these layers we do the baking of these birds in that in that way it can at least at least try as much it at least it can try to 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 eliminate to some level this cannibalism from happening even the baby chicks whenever we got them remember our baby chicks here were debaked from the archery and after two weeks their big started falling off so that is the only way you can prevent this cannibalism from happening in our poultry farms so for today that is all i had for you i hope you have got something from this episode and please don't forget to give this video a like please like the video in that way i'll be so excited uh for all my returning viewers thank you so much for always coming back thank you so much for loving me don't forget to comment in the comment section today and i'll be so grateful and if you're still new please the only way you can support us is by subscribing to the youtube channel clicking on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below tell me which country you're watching me from and i'll be smiling thank you so much for watching see you next time love you all bye bye